Today, we got some news about next week's update. Now, every leak account that's posting when this update is happening is only talking about Battle Royale and Fortnite Festival. And they're actually leaving out LEGO Fortnite because none of them know about what's coming to this game mode. And that actually was done on purpose by Epic. Now, as an Epic partner, I can't tell you guys exactly what is inside of this update. I can't tell you anything about what is changing or what is coming to LEGO Fortnite. But something that I can tell you to get you guys excited for this is typically when Epic is coming out with an update, they send this giant email to most, if not all of the Epic partners, and they will get told what's coming to the game or drop them some teasers, talk about different skins and outfits that are coming. But this time for Lego Fortnite, what they decided to do was just send this email to what seems to be just the Lego Fortnite partners. And because there's very few of us, this information obviously isn't going to get out in comparison to getting sent out to the hundreds of Battle Royale, UEFN, Fortnite Festival, and other epic partners. So before we talk about some of the things that could release in the game, comment down one thing that you believe they need to add in order to make Lego Fortnite perfect. And what I'll do is if we hit 750 likes, I'll give away one gift card to somebody that comments the best idea. Now what we have is the roadmap, and we know that it's pretty accurate because they got the Star Wars update right, they got the Metallica and the Billie Eilish right, and they also got the Fallout update for Battle Royale correct. And every single one of them in this sequence also seems to be working out very well. So what I see here is that we still have the Star Wars update when that Metallica update hits for Festival. So likely what this means is that we're not going to get that Clombo update at this point. So that is definitely looking to be early July rather than mid to late June as far as this update or this roadmap looked. So it's possible that we do get a part two of Star Wars. Now something that I do want to do is apologize for my video about the Star Wars part two leaks. That wasn't an accurate video whatsoever. It seems as though I kind of overread the YouTube short that talked about it. So it's not confirmed that we are getting a Lego Star Wars part two. Although in the roadmap, it does look like it would be a two-part update. And I think that everybody believes as far as the content that we got from it, that it would make sense to be a two-part update. Metallica is coming nearly in the middle of it, so I'm not entirely sure if that's what we're going to get, but we will see. The roadmap is just all concept arts, so just because we see the Star Destroyer and because we see a speeder doesn't necessarily mean that we're getting either of those things with Lego Fortnite. Now on top of here is obviously a lot of different moving things at once, and I get it. It might be a little overwhelming, but this is every single leak that we've had since the beginning of the year that is yet to release in the game. So this might mean that we're getting some of these things in next week's update. It could mean that we're getting none of these things in next week's update. We know with the roadmap that the Dark Forest isn't coming until October, so there's some things that we can rule out. However, not everything can can be ruled out. Now, three things we can't rule out is going to be the zip line, which is something that was leaked extremely early on. And it does appear as though we have all of the ingredients that we would need in order to make this. It looks extremely simple and the mechanics don't seem too complicated either, as we got to see different type of things in the mini games that could definitely work as far as some of the mechanics for the zip line. Then you also have the catapult. This isn't really something that we've seen in the game or in any of the mini games. However, it definitely is something that they could have been working on since these leaks came out in December that could be releasing in game. It also looked extremely basic and easy to build. So I would imagine that if we were getting something like that, they could add it to the game. And finally is the cannon. This is something that we heard a big rumor about when it came to the dream set. But when it comes to the cannon, we have seen uses for it inside of the mini games that they've given us. So hopefully that means that at some point in time, the cannon will be releasing in the game. Now, another thing that we know it did not release yet is going to be a villager that actually works as a trader. Now, this would be extremely overpowered in Lego Fortnite, as then you would be able to have this villagers that work on giving you different items and materials, but also a villager that you can walk up to with said materials and trade him those for something else in return. This is a mechanic that they have already in Minecraft that works extremely well, and they are 
are able to get extremely creative with this, especially in different mini games that people create. So I would imagine that if they do add this into Lego Fortnite, it would work extremely well. And again, almost be overpowered with the fact that we already have villagers doing jobs for us. Now, some other stuff that was released in the leaks that we don't know of just yet is going to be the Rift Shell Crab. Now, this is something that definitely goes along with that dark forest and rift biome. So I'm not entirely sure if that's something that we'll be seeing in the game. Then you have the Storm Sick Wolf. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the Storm Sick means when it comes to this. It did go ahead and release with the dark forest and rift biome leaks. So I'm not sure if that's when it's going to release in the game. Then you also have the Horn Beetle. This has the same exact colors as the Storm Sick Wolf. So I'm not sure again if this goes entirely with that or if it's something that could be releasing in next week's update. And then finally, we have the skeletons wielding a hammer. Now a hammer was a long, long leak ago. And we also got to see it in some decorations that were added into some of the gameplay. So because of that, we should be able to maybe see a hammer releasing in the game, which would just overall do even better when it comes to mining different ores in the game. Now this was four different essence that was going to release in the game. We have power, storm, fire, and then ice. Now I'm not entirely sure exactly what these things are going to be used for or if they were even essence to begin with. I believe that during the leaking process they were leaked as new essence that could be added onto your weapons so maybe that means that if you're using a fire pickaxe that it would do extremely well inside of the Frostlands biome. If you're using a Frostlands one maybe it would do very good inside of the dry valley considering that those things kind of offset each other but I'm not entirely sure exactly how this would work. The only thing that I do know is that we definitely need new essence to release in the game because if we're just being honest with each other, the health essence does absolutely nothing. Now these were two ingredient leaks that we got as well. This one had to do with diamond, titanium bars, dark wood rods, and titanium chests. Now the only ingredients that these required was diamond, titanium, and dark wood. Now in my opinion, I believe that the dark wood would come with a dark forest update, so I'm not entirely sure if that's something that we could get in this update here. But I definitely believe that as far as the titanium style of stuff could definitely be releasing in the game when it comes to this update. Again, I'm not confirming that that's 100% releasing. However, if anything makes sense, I would say that the rift will be later on in the year, whereas titanium could definitely release a little bit sooner.